Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Senate Education. It's Friday, April 16th at 1.19 p.m. Uh, we are going to uh, start our work today by hearing from the State Board of Education or on the State Board of Education and from the Agency of Education. Uh, senators will recall that we asked uh, Secretary French and Mr. Carroll to have a conversation. Uh, there have been re some requests around some uh, language changes uh, that the State Board is requesting. And we thought uh, good for the agency and the State Board to have a conversation and then come back to us today with uh, their agreements um, to see if we might move some language forward this year. We would likely attach any possible language changes to um, what is also likely to go back to the House in their H101, which would also be the work that we worked on yesterday, diversifying the State Board, uh, as well as a few other things that uh, I'm considering sending back to them. Uh, we'll then hear the appropriations request from the State Colleges uh, and uh, that really will largely complete our work for the day. I do want to uh, recognize and thank everybody for your work on S114 yesterday afternoon. I think we're in a good place uh, with regard to the Senate's position. Uh, the House is aware of the Senate's position and uh, the bill is, is in their hands, if you will. And we will uh, see what they end up sending back. Uh, and as is always the case, we have other options, uh, other vehicles, other things that we can do to um, hopefully get to a, to a good place. So uh, with that, uh, Secretary French, Mr. Carroll, thanks for joining us today. Uh, I, if you don't mind, I think we'll start with Mr. Carroll, if you want to reframe for us uh, what you came in to talk to us about early on uh, and we became sidetracked with other work around some of the, the requests for the state board. And, uh, and then we'll, we'd like to hear from you and Secretary French on, on where, you, where you're at at this point. So floor is yours. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, members of the committee. I'm John Carroll, chair of the state board. Um, uh, Secretary French and I did indeed have a good conversation at your direction and request. And, um, reached a, a, a easy consensus on um, some fundamental language that addresses what uh, some of us believe is a longstanding need to uh, clarify the limits of the state board's authority. Um, you've heard from me before about this, and I know some of you share this concern that in, in the past, language in statute had been able to be um, used as a justification for the state board, frankly, exceeding its authorities um, and presuming to take upon itself almost a kind of legislative authority. Um, and uh, uh, the, it was a simple matter of some pieces of, of language that had come to be back in 2012, what, back when there was such a kind of a tectonic shift in the relationship between the state board and the agency of education. Um, and so in some ways, this is simply corrective language uh, that is uh, really fundamental to clarifying and frankly limiting the uh, authority of the state board to make it very, very, very clear that any rulemaking by the state board must be within the bounds of legislative uh, intent and language, you would think, you would think that would be self-evident, but the language had been um, had sort of crept in that obscure, obscured that clarity. Um, the language that Secretary French and I have uh, concurred on is taken from the legislation, the the bill drafted uh, by Senate Education last year which was a much more comprehensive piece of legislation when it was uh, 58 pages and it, it had several very ambitious goals, uh, all of which I think the secretary and I still support in principle, um, uh, largely goals to clarify the roles of the board, 
to shift board administrative duties uh, from the board to the agency where they more appropriately belong uh, and to allocate responsibility for rulemaking. Uh, those latter parts are still uh, in discussion um, and uh, but there's clear, there clear, there's clear consensus between the agency and the board that this original core language uh, limiting the, the authority of the state board to rulemaking only that complies with or is within the ambit of, of um, uh, legislation by the General Assembly. Um, and so that's, that's what uh, is before you. Uh, you mentioned Sen Senator Campion that you, it may go by way of H uh, S101. Um, uh, and of course, there had been talk about it's being made part of H122, the boards and commissions bill. But um, uh, frankly, we are agnostic about how what vehicle is employed for um, adopting th these changes. Um, uh, and I'm just delighted that Secretary French and I really see eye to eye on these changes. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Carroll. I believe, uh, but I, I may be wrong, things are moving quickly. I believe H122 is indeed in the House still. I don't think they've sent that to us yet. And what they have sent to us, though, is H101, uh, their literacy bill, which I plan to do a strike all of, uh, which was the plan all along since the House incorporated their, some of their H101 into S114. And we uh, plan on sending uh, a few things back to them, if you will, uh, this, being, uh, this being one of them. So uh, appreciate the two of you getting to a, a spot this year. And I suspect that there will be further conversations going forward so that some additional work might be addressed uh, next January. But in the meantime, um, it looks like we have um, some a, a direction forward. Secretary French, if you would. I'm yeah, good afternoon, Dan French, Secretary of Education. I don't have much more to add uh, to Chair, Chair Carroll's uh, remarks other than to say, I think, you know, it was fairly easy for us to uh, come together on this, what, you know, drawing that line around what is foundational or fundamental, I think, is the word John used, and I would agree. Uh, there's still, you know, quite a bit of work to do, but to have this uh, foundational or fundamental language established would be useful to direct that that work, and it does sort of get at some of the tensions uh, that, for my view, re remain unresolved as a result of uh, Act 98, 2012. So, um, again, happy to provide that language. Hopefully, you find it useful uh, to your your work. Um, but it was fairly easy for us to come together on this. Great. We will likely have Mr. Demaray sort of take us through you know, your language uh, next. Um, but in the meantime, any questions for Mr. Carroll or Secretary French? Uh, so center lines, please. I, I'm looking at the memo that came from Mr. Carroll and Secretary French, and is that is that the proposal that we're okay? Yep. Right. All right. Yeah, it looks pretty. I'm not using that word. Um, it doesn't <laughs> have as much complexity as it did earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, <laughs> praise the Lord. <laughs> uh, other questions? Uh, Secretary of French and Mr. Carroll, anybody else that you think we should hear from on this? This seems like an agreement between the, again, the agency and the state board. Um, anybody else? comes to mind that might have a conflict or concern. Secretary French? I, I don't I don't think so. I think again this this fundamental sort of uh, logic I think was always perhaps uh, intended and now is more emphatically stated. So I don't I don't think there is much here for anyone to really to disagree uh, with or or see a way to embellish and to, I, I welcome Senator Lyon's observation of getting to simplicity on any any complex issue and um, I think we've tried to bring it to that place where this at least foundational piece is well established and that again will serve us well, I think, to do the, the more complex work that's still in front of us. Okay. Mr. Demaray. 
Yes. Hello. How are you? How are you? Good, thanks. Uh, Jim, they, as you know, uh, sent uh, some language. I'm wondering if you might just take us through that a little bit um, in the memo and, and just raise any concerns or, or just walk us through exactly what it does. Sure, yeah. So um, for the record, uh, Jim Demery, let's console. I'm looking at a memo from um, Chair Carroll uh, to, you, to, to your committee. Um, the April 16th of this year. Um, it's proposing a revision to uh, Title 16, Section 164, which deals with the State Board's powers and duties. Um, and what this does is, um, it, um, well, I'll read through it. It says, the State Board shall, then it's a strikeout, which is, the strikeout language is evaluate education policy proposals um, including timely evaluation of policies presented by the governor and the secretary, that's being taken out. So it says the state board shall engage local school board members and the broader education community. Um, and then the struck language um, that, that says and establish and advance education policy of the state of Vermont. So getting away from policy uh, really here is I think the goal. So it reads the state board shall engage local school board members and the broader education community and consistent with the provisions of this title, its own rules and rules adopted by the secretary, establish and regularly update a long-term strategic vision for the deliver <coughs> delivery of educational services in Vermont, advise the, the General Assembly, the governor and the secretary of education, uh, high priority educational policies and issues as they arise and act in accordance with uh, legislative mandates, including the adoption of rules and uh, executing special assignments. So I'm mean, the language to say getting out of the policy area, getting into more uh, strategic uh, vision areas and uh, interface with the public. Um, then it goes on to revise some of the powers and duties. So Number four, uh, which uh, reads currently, um, re review and comment on agency budget prepared by the secretary for the governor. That's being struck. Um, and then subdivision seven, which deals with rulemaking. Um, now we read adopt rules uh, to carry out the powers and duties of the board as directed by the General Assembly uh, within the limits of legislative intent. Um, so those are the changes, and from a legal standpoint, I see no issue with them. Okay. And Mr. Demeray, is, is H-122, is that in the House right now? Is that their uh, bill that they're working on, or is that? I'm not following that bill. Um, I can try to find the status of it for you. But... That's right, I see it at the top of the testimony. Mr. Uh, Secretary French may know where, that's, uh, where that lies at this point. Which part? Mr. Chair, uh, you said AOE testimony H122, the role of the state board. Yeah, that's uh, I think the chair Carroll's point. That's how uh, when we were tasked to sort of come together on this last week, that was the, the vehicle uh, and the trajectory that yes. we were responding to uh, last I, year's I, bill. Yeah, well, yeah. I, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> S166 was last year's bill, um, but we were. Um, I, and I, I agree wholeheartedly with Chair Carroll. We're agnostic as to the vehicle uh, sure. for this. Um, we were just responding to a, a, a request last week, and it was 122 that prompted us to come all come together on this last week. Great. So S122 um, is a government operations bill. Um, okay. Right. And it was related to boards and commissions, and it has been passed by the House. That's right. So this is indeed language that uh, I appreciate the, the tickler. It, it is something that is in government operations right now, Senate government operations. I don't believe she has voted it out, but she may have. Uh, so we can either attach it to the H-122 through government operations in the Senate, or we can, uh, we have our, our vehicle ourselves. So but it, either way, it looks like we're, we're in good shape. Any other questions for uh, our witnesses? 
Uh, Senator Lyons, please. Just a quick question on <clears throat> number five is repealed. Is What is number five? What, well, was it? what did it used five. to be? That has to be repealed for a while. I'm not okay, sure. that's what I was wondering. Okay, so. A, a new repeal. Great. Okay.